It's a Ricoma. A Ricoma uh, one hat. What I mean is one hat is I only have one specific area where I can embroider, right? Uh, so I can. Uh, the machine that I bought is the MT1501, and this machine can do uh, caps and uh, can do patches, can do shirts, and can do a lot more. I'll, most of the embroidery on any clothing that you like, right? You just have to set up uh, the specific item you're looking for. So, um, like I said, I bought this machine in uh, in January, okay? And it's been, I, in my personal opinion, it's been a really good quality machine. They are expensive. They cost around. You know, if you're going in to buy it with the Ricoma, it's going to cost you around $17,000. Uh, so I got a free shipping with Ricoma, uh, free shipping and, uh, and uh, packaging, right? So they have to build a box to cover it, to ship it to you. So that costs. Uh, so I got that for free and I was still able to, you know, pay $17,000 is a lot of money. Um, but. Hopefully, I'm I'm seeing my money returns right, and um, so I've been I've been doing embroidery for about six months. If you're watching a video and you've been doing embroidery longer than me, you know, well, uh, hopefully you can learn something from this. Maybe not, but uh, so as I was saying, right? So I have this Ricoma, the MT fifteen oh one. And I have no complaints. Okay, a lot of people do complaints on the website. You know, when you when you buy the machine and you know you connect to the Facebook uh, website, there's more than four thousand members on the Facebook page, right? There is tons of complaints because when you start uh, doing embroidery, you're gonna get a lot of needle breaks, a lot of needle breaks and um, tread breaks. And you don't know how to use the machine, so you go in and you break some kind of, you know. So you're gonna get a lot of that at the beginning. Uh, don't get discouraged. One of the things that I'm still working on is the tension. I'm still working on the tension because uh, it's a pain, honestly. Uh, you know, but one of the things that I've been, it's been working for me, it's just switching the bobbins. Okay, I have a paper bobbins. I know, I know, I know. Uh, a technician, one of the technicians came into my house and and said, you know, well, you, you know, you're gonna need uh, to to change to uh, magnetic ones. I haven't really, uh, but it's been working really nice for me. The paper bobbins, and so um, you know, the things that that I've been able to create with these machines. I've been doing a lot of hats, okay? And I started with hats because, I, you know, I'm, I'm a guy. So, in my personal opinion, uh, embroidering on, on flat surface, like t-shirts, polos, um, you know, anything that is like bags or the embroidery, it's gonna be easier. And it's gonna be more smooth. Uh, when you're doing caps, and there's some more specific caps that are really hard on the surface, so you're gonna get a lot of needle breaks. And I still, up to the point, get a few needle breaks once in a while, but that's because I'm not careful with positioning the design on my cap. And so, you know, I got the machine, and the machine is it's you know ready. It was ready to uh, you know do the job. I just have to put the tread on top, do the tension, the tension tread, and it was ready to go. So, other than that, you have your cap drivers. Uh, I I think before I think I had to lower a little bit the cap driver and the presser foot 
because I was constantly getting needle breaks, so I had to do that. Uh, and right after I did that, well, you know, I have never had a needle break ever since then. Uh, machine's great. Can't really complain. The only thing I would say is probably $15,000, $17,000 for a one-hand machine. It's a lot of money, but if you're thinking about it, uh, the Tajimas, you know, uh, brand new, they're going to cost you a lot more for sure. So you're getting some kind of discount for your machine. And um, so I cover the machine, right? I cover the machine uh, when I'm not using it. Just because of uh, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to get dirty, and that dirty can get into the sensors and mess them up. So, okay, so I've told you mostly everything I have with my machine. So the question, the big question is, how many hats can I do with this one embroidered machine? And Remember, it's gonna run you the whole day, so you have to put uh, drops of uh, oil, you know, once every four hours. And yeah, so um, how many hats? Well, it depends on the design that you want to do embroidery. Uh, most of the designs are gonna be between, you know, five thousand stitches to, you know, I don't know, eight thousand stitches. So if you have a, a design that is, you know, five thousand stitches and you're running your machine at a speed of like, you know, average six hundred, uh it's probably gonna take you fifteen minutes to do that one design. So you have to remember you have to the, the time takes to uh hoop. So you gotta hoop and reposition your design and that takes probably, you know, depending on how fast you work. So you gotta hustle, honestly. With this machine, you still gotta hustle because it's time that you your productivity. I mean, literally, you're 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 having a fabric, and you have to be productive when you're making this thing. So, if I do it with one hand machine, uh, fifteen minutes. So that's what uh, two, three, four. You can you can do four hats per hour with the fifteen minute. Uh, you know. 5,000 stitches. So, four times, you know, uh, for 10 hours, let's say you work straight up your machine for 10 hours, uh, you know, 40, 40 hats. The reality is, honestly, that it's, it's kind of tired. So, yeah, you could probably, that's probably your max, because, um, you know, uh, um, I, I don't really work more than 10 hours, but um, it's a hustle still when you're making this this uh, hat. So 40 hats, I would probably put it at my max so you can do per day. And that's because if your uh, design is uh, around 5,000 stitches, hopefully, uh, you know. Uh, so I have another video, part two, for sure, that uh, I'm going to be saying how many hats I'm actually able to produce with the six hat. Uh, six hat machine that I bought from Ricoma. I got a really good discount. And so, all right, part two coming up.